Thanks, Nick. Uh, so a little way from the starter yet, but the flag is up. Flags up. Starter is ready. They're making their way round the turn into the home straight where they'll face the two mile starting tape. They're off. They race away. They've got eight to jump here. They'll level up into the straight before they get to the first of those. Latin verse Liari. Eagle Fang with a noseband on the right. On the left, Eagles Reign in white and red colours. Bright legend in company with those as they clear number one. Batman Girac was the back marker. Naro won the best turned out award. Is back towards the rear of the field with Mordor, Palamon, Harsh and also a Lark in the morning. This long run on towards number two and Bright legend blue and yellow colours goes through to have the advantage here. Latin verse in black and green running in second. Balboa, maroon and white jacket, is nose banded towards the right on the left, mainly white colours, eagles rain. Liari, two shades of blue, white sleeves, extreme right, will be about fifth position. Eagle Fang, white hoops on blue sleeves and the light blue of Tiori. The next couple of runners, Milan Tino, be about sixth or seventh at the moment, right in the middle of the field as they take number two. On um, Braden Fasher was in company with this, and then comes Carrier de Blas and Pigeon House in the yellow. Nadawi nearest to us in the stands in dark blue colours. Further back behind these, Miss Manzor and Tiori has lost a few places. Oz Partier is next to Lark in the morning, and then the red jacket of Le Loyote, Palamon in black colours. Grey Horse Roaring Legend up round the outside in company with Harsh. Behind this is Nara, who is uh, probably just behind Mordor at this stage, but there's going to be a good 15, 20 lengths first to last as they make their way out towards the far side of the course then and run on towards number three. And now it's Latin verse and Harry Reid have taken the lead. Bright legend in blue and yellow colours is running in second position. Balboa right between the pair, maroon and white jacket, nose banded, took it in third and then Eagles reign in orange on Braden Fasher up round the outside. Milan Tino only be about three lengths off the lead at this stage. Eagle Fand and Liari Nadawi and Miss Manzora behind those. And then comes Tiori as they run on towards number four. Batman Giroc is further back on the inner of the course. Carrier de Blas and uh, with this is Oz Partia and also Lark in the morning as they take the fourth. We got a faller there. And several fallers. Mordor's being brought down. Oz Partia was one of those that went at that flight of hurdles as well as they run away now onto the far side. Carrier de Blas was also down at that flight. It looks like three fallers at that one as they run up towards the top of the hill. Palamon was badly hampered and is being pulled up. But it is Bright Legend and Latin Verse who lead. Balboa two lengths off him in third. And then Eagles reign from Milantino. Liari hugs the running rail on Braden Fashion. A derby behind this in Yellow Pigeon House. Uh, the back of the main group but struggling is Roaring Legend as they now turn left-handed, making their way onto ho uh, home. Amongst those making progress, Nadawi be about sixth or seventh at the moment. Pigeon House behind that. Lark in the morning. Dark blue with a red cap. Harsh is behind that. Nara comes next. Next, Le Loyoteur is the back of the main group in company with Batman Girac. This is the third last flight of hurdles. Latin verse uh, and Balboa makes an error. Liara, very bad mistake back in the field there. On Braden Fasher and Bright Legend on the left are still there. Milantino, the horse with a splash of white on his face up with them. The Derby making progress. Extreme left, Lark in the morning. Red Cap running on as well. They come towards the second last. Liari was pulled up and it's Latin verse. On Braden Fasher, Bright Legend, and then Milantino, Pigeon House, Nadawi, and Lark in the morning, the red cap coming into it very strongly now. A uh, harsh is coming from the back of the field. Eagles Reign's got a chance. Nara's there. Miss Manzor is behind this. But it's now Lark in the morning who's got into a two or three length lead. Eagles Reign, Nadawi, second and third. Harsh, Miss Manzor behind those. Final flight in the Boodles. And Lark in the morning got over it by two lengths. Nadawi, the Dark Jacket in second. Eagles Reign, the white colours in third place. But as they run towards the line now, it's Lark in the morning and JJ Slevin clear and go on to win. Second is going to be very close indeed. In white, Eagles Reign, the Derby, the Dark Jacket. They're clear from Harsh, Miss Manzor and then Milantino.
JJ7 has teamed up again with Joseph O'Brien to win a second Fred Winter, his third in total of festival successes. This with Lark in the morning. Many congratulations. Um, Joseph was just saying there was a big debate about whether or not to run with all the rain that had fallen. Was that playing in your mind at all? Uh, yeah, big time. Um, obviously, he kind of got stuck in the ground uh, at home all winter and you know, probably didn't perform to his best. So we were struck, we were worried coming here and I got a spin around on um, Colonel Mustard earlier and just after that I thought it wasn't as bad as probably it walked. So good Cheltenham, we had to kind of let him take his chance if we could at all. Yeah, so you gave, that gave you some encouragement to, to go? It did, because Colonel Mustard is probably a nice ground horse and he uh, he ran very adequately, finished fifth, so he coped with it. So we were more than happy to take a chance then. And did you pick your spot on the way around with that in mind? Yeah, Joseph did say it to me, he said, to be patient and uh, maybe try and stay out a bit, try and grab some sort of fresh ground, and uh, that's what we try to do on it. You must, it must be difficult because you, you presumably you had quite some confidence in this horse. He seemed to have so much the right profile for the race. He's got such good flat form as well. He'd been laid out with this aim in mind, and then the rain comes. You know, yeah. it's frust could, could have been frustrating. Yeah, sure, it could have been. But you look at um, Joseph's always always of the opinion if you can take your chance at all, take it, and uh, it served him well in the past, and it worked out well today. It's a tremendous team that he sent over, you know, despite not having a, you know, a huge number of, of jump sources in the yard. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we have plenty of quality there and he does a good job with them. So like, when he has the ones that can go, he sends them over. So it's all for the best. Difficult conversation as well about Bandridge ahead, I would have thought, aren't there, in the ground-wise? Very much so. Uh, I thought the, the chase track rode slower than the hurdle track. Really? So, yeah, I thought it rode a good bit slower. So I uh, just have to hope that nothing falls out of the sky between now and Thursday. Yeah, and I suppose we are moving track as well, so at least you yeah. won't have you know, yeah. a day's racing on it. For sure, we'll have fresh ground there again, and sure, hopefully yeah. it won't be as slow, you know. Okay. Well, many congratulations, well done. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. In 2019, this race provided Joseph O'Brien with his first sex festival success in his own name with Band of Outlaws. Now he's won it again with Lark in the Morning, his fourth, I think I might say, yes, fourth festival success five years later. Many congratulations. Were you worried about the rain that had fallen here for this horse? Yeah, we were, we were uh, Lydia, we were very worried. Um, uh, had a pretty strong view that he probably wanted better ground to be seen to best effect, but I thought JJ gave him a fantastic ride. He found the best of the ground, the freshest of the ground, all the way around, and um, he, had, he had plenty in the, in the locker, jumping the last, pricked his ears. Delighted for Sean, uh, Paddy, for Nadine, and, and for JJ to have a winner here this week is very special. Absolutely, and apart from the ground concern, did you feel everything was right in terms of what you need for a winner of this race? Yeah, yeah, we, we thought that he was coming here uh, with a real life chance, um, um, but obviously so much rain fell last night that we actually had a conversation whether we'd run or not, but we decided to run, and yeah, luckily. Good thing you did. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's more versatile than yeah, you thought. Yeah, 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 no, he seemed to handle it well, so yeah. And I must ask you about Bambridge, because obviously you've talked about the, the ground for him as well. There's more rain, it seems, uh, forecast this week. Is he going to run in the Ryan? Are you going to uh, take your chance? We'd like to run, yeah, we'd like to run if we can. I'll walk the track Thursday morning, and then we'll discuss with Ronnie and make a decision then. Okay, well, congratulations. Well done, you're on the board. Thanks, Lydia. Thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.